here. So we are now on the other side of the table and I'm doing my first ever monthly phase video. And I just realized I'm still wearing my um, my hairband. How many of you guys actually wear your hairband everywhere you go even though you're wearing a nice dress? Me, me. I think I've even worn this to a wedding before. Anyway, that was totally side distraction, but I bought so many great things last month that I have to let you know things that you must, must buy. Um, but to make this monthly phase video a little bit more exciting, we have Star of the Show Award to be given out. One thing you should never ever buy, and then one yellow food you should def try. Okay, so if you're ready, here are my August 2013 days. So, Last week I was working so hard that by the time I hit Labor Day weekend I was like all I want to do is go shopping and so I hit up Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica and I went to American Eagle and all these other stores, bought lots and lots and lots of stuff but one of my favorite finds was from Anthro. I love that store. Everything is so expensive but so nice but I did a really good find. I found these amazing plates um, in the home section, not only were they on sale, they were an extra 25% off. Isn't that amazing? I love when things are clearance or like extra clearance off. So these are made in Italy. They're scalloped edge and they're made out of um, ceramic and they're hand painted. That's my yellow one. And then here is another version that is orange. And for sure, you'll be seeing these on my Instagram and on the blog um, as I continue my food photography. So these ended up being about $5.97 and they're originally $14. So such a good deal. And since I'm looking at my fingernails, I want to show you what I have on my nails. This is from Essie. It is the Girls Are Out. So this color I'm really loving right now. And um, I only put two coats on and it totally didn't streak. It was totally fine. And it looks really, really good. Fruit of the season, raspberries. Now raspberries have some of the most fiber of all the berries and they taste absolutely divine. They're so sweet and soft, they're so delicate. I actually just bought this this morning at Rouse. They're four for $5, which is such a steal because I know sometimes they're like $3.99 for a pack and you feel like each one is just like gold and you just don't want to eat it and you start feeling bad and no, no, no. Food, buy what's in season, buy what's on sale, and then you can eat as much as you want. And it's so healthy and good for you. Actually, one time I found these for 99 cents each. Oh, I bought like 14 of them and ate them in the whole week. This is the La Tortilla Factory Low Carb Tortilla. Now, tortillas can be up to like 200 something calories per sheet, and they really don't seem like much, but they're very, very dense and very carb dense. However, these ones I just found, they are only 50 calories for one circle, and get this, there's only 10 grams of carbs, seven grams of fiber, and five grams of protein. Meaning, 10 minus seven, you only have three grams of active carbs. So this is quite excellent. What I'm gonna do later is actually um, place some guacamole inside, put some meat and some lettuce inside and roll it up and cut them in half and have little appetizers. It's gonna be so yummy and so cute, like little twisters. Fave salsa of the moment is my cowboy caviar, but I never call it that. I always ask the guy at Trader Joe's if they have a cowboy Casanova. <laughs> It has corn, black bean, and pepper, and it tastes so hearty. This is literally like the fifth time I've gotten this, and I love it on my omelets and on anything else. It is so, so good. You definitely have to get this. Like, I think it's like $2.49. Such a good deal. This wins the award for YOLO Food of the Month. Maybe of the year, maybe of my life. Crunch cookie butter at Trader Joe's. Oh, okay. Hold on. I have been hearing about this thing for so long from everybody, from all my students at the gym. They're like, you have to try the cookie butter. You have to try the cookie butter. And I'm like, what? So I'm looking inside Trader Joe's and then there's a sign that says limit 10 per customer. And I'm like, what? Are they having something on sale or something? And they weren't. People just like buy this stuff up. So I eventually bought it and oh my goodness. It is like the best. Like, okay. Like, you know how much I like peanut butter? Like times that by 10,000. This cookie butter has like bits of graham cracker in it or biscuits or something and it just tastes like, oh I can't imagine, it's like it's sweet, crunchy, decadent peanut butter that's just perfect. It is perfect, guys. You have to get this and what I really like doing is taking a slice of Ezekiel bread, sprouted bread, 
I put some cookie butter inside and then I place another thing of Ezekiel on top. Then I take my waffle, my little waffle machine, stick it inside, I like panini it for about two or three minutes, take it out, then I cut it in slices of five and they taste like the most perfect little sandwiches you could ever imagine. I, you will not, you will not be disappointed. So my bar of the moment is the Quest Bar. I've been hearing about these everywhere, all over Instagram, people cooking with them and stuff. And so I actually went to a um, like a bodybuilding contest to check it out because you know, that's what I did my first time. There was a big Quest booth and I was like, hey, I think I should try one. And I tried a bar and it was amazing. Not only did it taste non-proteiny, if you know what I mean, there's some bars that just taste like cool. This actually tastes like real food. So um, my favorite flavor is strawberry cheesecake, but more than just the flavor, I have to tell about the nutrients because this is actually quite astonishing. One bar has 160 calories, ding, already really good, five grams of fat, 25 grams of carbs, but get this, 17 grams of fiber. Uh-huh, I mean, what? That's nuts. And then 20 grams of protein. I mean, I, I, I don't understand. And it tastes good. So what I like doing with these sometimes is you take it out of the pack and you put it, um, you cut them into four, you put it in the microwave, soften them for like 15 seconds, and then you place them in the oven for like three to four minutes, and they come out like little cookies. And they're really crunchy on the outside. It's slightly chewy and soft on the inside. Oh, you have to try. I'll probably do a video on it later, but Quest Bar, death bar of the moment. And I think it's time to tell you and warn you of one thing you should definitely not buy. I was walking down the aisle and I was quite tempted by this bottle. See, it says Walden Farms Ranch Dressing, calorie free. And it was at Whole Foods, so I was like, okay, this is probably okay. Um, sugar free, fat free, carbohydrate free, gluten free, cholesterol free. You know what? Disgusting. Will you please never, ever, 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 ever getting back together buy this? It tastes, I don't get, it literally tastes worse than, I don't even know. I was gonna say worse than water, but water tastes really good. Like, it has a flavor, but it doesn't have a soul. I don't know, it, it, things without calories just really taste bad. An appliance that I'm really loving this month is my Breville little water pot thingy. Yeah, look at that. So it's really easy to use because you just click it on and it starts boiling your water. And I've definitely been drinking a lot more tea because of that and because the glass is all clear, I love seeing the bubbles come up. So I have to tell you about my favorite, favorite, on the go, super quick, like crazy quick meal ever. So what I do is I take a piece of turkey deli meat and then I take some alfalfa sprouts. And I love alfalfa sprouts. I can't even tell you how much. They are like my favorite. What I do is I put the alfalfas right inside and then hold up like a taco, and I eat it, and that's it. It tastes so good, it literally takes like 20 seconds. And if you're really, really watching your sodium intake, you definitely can give the meat a little rinse, and then make sure you pat it dry, so that would take some of the salt out. And the brand right here is Simple Truth. I chose this one because the ingredients made a lot of sense. Everything else had like meow, 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 things I didn't even know how to say. And pan of the month goes to Swiss Diamond. This, I don't even have to use any oil when I make my eggs or when I saute my veggies. I'm really loving it and it's like really solid. And now we save the best for last. The winner of Cassie's 2013 August Faves Asian Style Spicy Peanut Vinegar and Chips. Oh, I mean, I mean, I can't even, guys. Once you try this, you will never, ever want to try anything else. I've been hooked on this for about a couple weeks now and I keep going back to buy this dressing, but it tastes like a creamy, sweet, but slightly salty, slightly tangy dressing over your crisp lettuce. It is so good. Calorie-wise, it's 70 calories for two tablespoons. It's actually pretty decent because a lot are like 100 something, um, 200 something. And this, my dear, goes on the Tower of Toaster Coasters as the winner of today's episode. Okay, last thing I want to show you, it's not food related at all, but I guess neither was this nail polish, but it's this dress. This is Death Dress of the Moment. Check it out, it has this fluorescent coral top, these little zigzaggy things right here, it's so cute and sexy. And I'm loving the string detail. And check out the back. It's like two 
it's kind of hard to put on, but it's so worth it. This dress is from livingworld.com. It's $50, but... Oh my God! shoes oh I didn't wear the shoes but since you're looking at it these are my uh, Jessica Simpson slippers that I wear in the house they're super comfy but they really make my feet hot so guys that is my August favorites video let me know in the comments below what you like to buy when you go shopping or if you buy any of the things that I buy all right keep working hard and I'll see you later bye hey guys it's Cassie here today we have your pop challenge for abs and inner thighs to Katy Perry's RAR roll it Give me those claws and dig it up. You're a champion. Woo. Nice. Give it a shimmy. Yeah, so good. It feels like you're waking up. Squeeze those abs and lift. Woo. Now let's punch it out. Here we go. Punch, 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 punch with that strength. Yeah. 